it's time to reflect and make a plan for next week. Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today we're gonna be doing some reflections of the week and writing weekly actions for the next week. We're gonna check in with monthly goals, see how everything's going since it is the third week of the month. So here's the current week. Obviously I haven't finished it because I need to add some pictures, but we can go ahead and reflect and write some weekly action. So I already have my stickers set up. These are the stickers that I use. These are from Planner Kate. So they are 6XXA-12 and these are great. I went ahead and did it for the whole month because if the stickers are there, I have realized I will do my reflections. I don't know what that's about, but it works. So we're doing it. <laughs> so before we talk about next week, we need to reflect on this week and also we're going to go into July goals. So let's talk about this week. I think I'm going to use orange this week for my reflections. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some dots just so they're ready. You should do two and then I'll add more as needed. Okay, so wins this week. I started my work days. I have to do 10 throughout the summer before the teachers get back. So we have that... I like get at least a dent in my 10 days. I also organized my garage, finally. <laughs> Only took me all summer, but everything has its place. It looks really nice. What's working? My little streaming rotation. So what I'm doing is I made myself a spreadsheet and right now I have Prime because I need that free shipping. <laughs> so I have Prime, I have Peacock because I got a really good deal on it for like the entire year and then um, PBS because that's a donation and I love to watch me some documentaries and some period dramas so <laughs> and it's really cheap. Um, so I have these those three and then I rotate in a new one each month just to keep things fresh. So this month is BritBox. It's good. I'm finding some things. And then next month, I'll switch it up. I think next month is Hulu. So each month, I am switching it up so that I am saving some money and keeping things fresh. And it's just keeping my budget in check. Because why do I need six streaming services for just myself? I think at one point, I had like five or six. So uh, it's just crazy. So I think that will work. And I'll always have something new to watch. So, so far, so good. And we're gonna switch to what didn't work. I didn't do all my workouts this week, um, mainly because I went back to work <laughs> and it kind of threw a wrench in some things. So we're gonna fix that next week. I also like moved around my cleaning um, tasks. And like, I sh ugh, even though I had like a headache on one day, I, I should have put in more effort. Okay, one lesson learned is I can put in more effort during the school week. I think once I get back in the swing of things, it'll be okay, but just, it was kind of an off week. Um, another win would be I had a checkup with my urologist about my kidney stones, which apparently I have to do every year for the rest of my life now, <laughs> which is fine. I really, really like my doctor. He's just so nice. He's a tiny little man. But he's just so, so sweet and like understanding. So he gave me some things that I can implement and work on and just kind of dig a little deeper on. So I feel like I have like a good roadmap after talking with him. Okay, what's working? My AM routine. I've kind of ironed out some things and it's helped a lot to get my day going. So things just kind of got off the rails <laughs> at the beginning of the summer, but now we are back on track. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and put my PM routine as well because I am going to bed on time and I'm really like focusing on getting some really good sleep. Um, an adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to be tracking my sleep for a little bit. I got a new Apple Watch finally after like five years and the battery on it is amazing, of course. And so I would just want to see some trends because I know the kittens are waking me up. I know I'm waking up. So I just need to see like some things. So I think that'll help me just see some data. 
I love me some data. Um, what else? Water was really good this week. Um, I included some lemon juice. I take a little lemon juice shot. That's not <laughs> great, but um, I think I'll get used to it. Another win is I completed my monthly review of my finances and just saw some things that I can work on. Um, another didn't work was I didn't plan every day, which in turn means I didn't do anything on those two days, really. Let's look at my weekly as well and see what I can pull from here. I kind of made a note here about um, just putting in a little bit more effort and also like burying my day. Like, so an adjustment is going to be at work. Um, I need to like walk around. I need to go get some coffee. I need to talk to people. Um, I need to just get moving a little bit better. So instead of like sitting at my computer the entire time, which ultimately gives me a headache and makes me hate my job, <laughs> I need to get up. I need to go peruse the supply room. I need to go talk to people. I need to check in on the summer school kids. Whatever will make the day go by a little bit easier. Um, another lesson is this kidney thing is for life. Um, my right kidney is just like a bum kidney and just doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. So I got to do this forever, which like whatever. If this is my cross to bear, like, okay. <laughs> could be a whole lot worse. It could be a whole lot better. But it's like mine, my thing that I have to deal with. So I just got to make peace with it. Another lesson is... I feel better when I work out. I've definitely put that on probably <laughs> every monthly reflection for the past two years, but it's true. I just got to do it. Another adjustment is I need to use my time after work a little bit better. Just kind of start getting back into my routines. Okay, so feel good about this. Let's go over here to monthly goals. Just check in with them. I don't know where my monthly goal because here's my weekly actions one. I wonder if it's in, oh it is in here. Okay, so it's in my, my old planner. Okay, so we're going to put this in here so I can find these a little bit easier. Someone suggested on my July goals that since I have the pages in here, to go through and just for myself redo my annual goals and I'm thinking about that I don't know if I want to <laughs> but it is a good idea like it really is and maybe I could do like one area of life like every day for a week and just get it done but I think that would be helpful for me I mean I have my annual goals they're great but like fine-tuning them for the rest of the year is a good idea. So I'm thinking about that. Um, haven't made any firm plans, obviously, but I'm thinking about it and I might want to do it. Okay, so weekly actions for the week of July 22nd through the 28th. Like we are at the end of July, which is kind of crazy. How did this happen? The summer just like slipped away. <laughs> Every year it happens, and I just don't know how it happens. Okay, so we're going to go through each category. We're going to write down some weekly actions that I can complete this week that will help me make some progress. Let's start with personal, of course. So haircut is scheduled. So really, I just need those first two, planning daily and my AM and PM routines. Um, just kind of fine-tuning my AM and PM routines. Nothing crazy, but... I do want to have that on here still, just to finish out the month. Okay, fun and recreation. So this next week I am getting my new tattoo finally. Um, she had to reschedule my artist. It was supposed to be like two weeks ago, but we're getting it done this week. I got my like tattoo gel and all of that, the goo, whatever they call it. Um, so I feel like I'm ready to do that. I just need to get emotionally ready because I feel like it's going to be it's going to be a little bit hard emotionally, but it'll be good too. It's a, a celebration of my granddad, not 
not anything negative. Okay, so work and learning. Um, okay, so <laughs> I need to do some content planning and I got to complete four work days this week. Next week's only three, so that's good. Um, this is just the, the week that I had to work for. Okay, family and relationships. I'm going to put two dots here because I already have an idea of what I want to do. Something with my nephews, and then I need to call my parents. Gosh, they are so freaking cute and fun. They're a very high energy. <laughs> and uh, just so much fun to spend time with. I babysat like last week. We had a blast. It was good. Okay, so AM walks are not happening anymore. At least not five times a week because I'm back to work. So we're going to lean into the strength. Let's say one walk. And we'll grab the last two as well. For spiritual and personal growth, I'm just going to stick with these two. Weekly reflection and daily gratitude. Whoever told me to move my weekly reflection over here. It's working great because I have to mark it off over here and it really is about personal growth for me. Now financial, since we're past the pay period, I really just need to update my budget and physical environment. So I've been putting off a few things. Let's see. <laughs> um, cleaning my car. Definitely need to do that for sure. Um, we didn't feed my yard. That's got to happen soon. Let's see. Like, some of this can be moved. Like, I have Thursday and Friday off of August, these two days. I just need to stop putting things off. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, clean the car this week. Because it's going to be a little bit cooler. And I know in a few days it'll be warmer. So, we're going to do that. And then I probably need to do some yard work. Just mow and everything. But it's been kind of dry. So, we need some more rain. We're getting it off and on, but not quite enough. And there are my weekly actions. So this process took me, if I'm looking at the time here, took me a little under 20 minutes and that's with me talking. If I wasn't talking, I could get this done in 10, probably 10, 15. So it's not a very long process and it is super helpful for me. I just, I just need this and like not having it for two months, I definitely saw the effects of that. So I'm glad that I have gotten back into that routine. Weekly reflections kind of save me. So I'm ready for the next week. Are you? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm always curious to see where you are in your planning journey. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Share this video with somebody you think might enjoy it or get some info from it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.